it was so hot. I had to wash my underarms in the public restroom. At the airport, I potty, I had to throw away almost everything in my personal item. And I'm, I'm still just crying. I haven't even processed it all. I had like my MacBook. I oh my God. Bonjour, mes amis, and bienvenue to one of my days of Vlogmas. Saint moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile. Make sure this is on. And here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. Si vous play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog. And on both Insta and TikTok, search for moi because I am not always on your feed. So we have returned to Target. I am here because I just got back from Paris. At the airport, I potty, I had to throw away almost everything in my personal item. And I'm, I'm still just crying. I haven't even processed it all. I had like my MacBook. I didn't throw that away. The things I threw away for sure were everything in my toiletry pouch, except for like my Chanel creams. And I had like an MFK uh, perfume part of the pieces. I took some things out, but I threw away my travel tripod that had been serving me so well in all of my uh just cosmetics in the in the toiletry pouch so we are going to target i am going to i need more what is it spf my tinted moisturizer and just random things for my toiletry pouch if you are new here my 25 days of vlogmas are consisting of just very random days and more so me answering questions from as I meet. I typically spend an entire day doing that. But since I really need to go to Target and just refill things, I don't have any trips planned thus far, but that can change at any moment. So I need to be ready so I do not have to get ready. Also with Vlogmas, I am doing very, very few edits edits are to a uh, two max that's the maximum that i am doing and i'm so delighted about that so delighted that you all have been so receptive i say this every video because this may be your first time seeing me and you may think this is just the aesthetics this is just how i always do no i typically do a lot of editing because of my speech i do long pauses to keep from stuttering to stammering. See, I'm not editing that. And um, I, I've stopped doing that during Vlogmas because it is very, very labor intensive. And I want to be here at that boo every single day. So let's go into Target and it, it'll just be jazzy tunes because of course there's music. And once we get back to the car, I'll do like a, I mean, I guess it's not an unboxing. Unbox it's a, I'll just show you all what I got. I'm just so in love with these earrings. I know you really can't see it, this is how you know you're officially a vlogger when you do this. You all remember back in the day when vloggers, when they were showing you something and they had to do this so it could focus. You all still probably can't see it, but these are LV. They're canvas earrings. I got these uh, potty last November and I have not been able to find them again because I needed a spare pair. And then I wanted to like raffle off one. Speaking of which, the LV raffle, I am raffling off a brand new Speedy and Neverfull. That's coming up soon. It is not too late to enter. See to play, do so. But it's getting cold. I'm in the car and I had to turn off everything because you all wouldn't have been able to hear me. So let's run into Target and I will see you all back here. Alrighty, ciao for now. I'm on the phone with the messy cousin. We're catching up. I, she's laughing. So that's what everyone calls you on the internet. You're the messy cousin. MC is how we refer to you. So I was telling her because I just got back from Paris and I said, oh my God, it's so cold here. She said, yeah, it's been so cold. I'm putting on my boots. She said, yeah, it's been so cold. And I said, um, yeah, you know, just the weather. I don't want to say the other word because, you know, it's a very political and controversial thing. But I said, yeah, remember when we were in London how hot it was and how we barely like we just escaped the heat wave she's like you not remember us almost passing out in london she said it was so hot like it, it just shows you how memory how i have the ability to block out traumatic experiences because i'm listening to her side of the story of london and it's nothing like i remember i just remember us like drinking champagne having tea in the theater district and all these lovely things and she what it was so hot i had to wash my underarms 
in the public restroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I tell them what you were about to throw away? I have to tell them. She said, you can, I don't care. She's like, it was so hot. I almost threw my underwear in the trash can. <laughs> I'm like, why don't I remember this? I just remember us like drinking shit. <laughs> okay, so I will see you all in a second. Ciao for now. Gave us such a stern lecture as if we were, like that was the last train. Like there will be no other trains to London. Oh my God. I just swear I don't remember London the way you do. <laughs> okay, Bordy. <sighs> yeah, it was just such a lovely time. <sighs> oh my goodness. Bonjour, <laughs> right, Mazami. Let's get into the voiceover because there is always music. That's my tripod in my bag because I had to throw away my travel tripod at the airport. I had to take this dinosaur. Look at it. And so now I'm chatting with the barista because I don't like the sweet drinks at all but it's one of those things I'll go to a cocktail bar and only order a glass of wine that's crazy right <laughs> I can just have a glass of wine at home I need to try something else so I have been attempting to explore Starbucks drinks and this was a gingerbread something but he remade the recipe for me because I told him I did not like sweet drinks and the messy cousin, we're still on the phone. I'm trying to tell her what he did because she does not like alternative milk. She's a cow's milk girl. So right now I am checking the time because I have appointments and I need to not be in Target all day. Taking sips. It's so good. It is so good. I have to tell you all, I'm going to have to stop doing this. because Why am I even over here? Nothing I needed was over here. If you have ever been to a Target, which I'm sure you have, you know the personal items, cleaning, all of those things are never by the clothes. And look at me pretending to watch my watch. And clearly time isn't an issue because I'm over here looking at clothes. Crazy. Oh, that cream puffer was so nice. I did not know if that puffer what was. <laughs> by looking at the watch that green puffer it was over in the loungewear like nightgown section so I was a bit confused but I really really liked it that color was nice and then I went over to the men's section because I wanted to find a coat for Juju the camera kid I got him two during Black Friday although I did not participate in Black Friday I did get him a few things because he needs it so I'm just chatting with the cousin and she is just freaking hilarious and when I tell you she has I don't want to say the worst luck ever but she kind of does like it is always crazy ridiculousness with her if I did not know her life I would think she was lying so right here I'm letting a couple go by because I am recording and I didn't want to pick them up on camera but right here I am just literally sipping my well it's not tea but you get the point listening to this tragedy and oh she's talking about being strung out on holiday drinks and why she doesn't like doing it because she had a white macadamia something something two years ago and she found herself driving to secluded starbucks hoping that they still had the syrup after the holiday was over as we were chatting she walked in her home because she works at night she walked in her home and there was a bird a bird in her house. So she's on the phone with me screaming hysterically, trying to usher the bird out of her house. If I And this wasn't the first time. I should tell you that that is not the first time a bird has been in her home. She has so many pets. And apparently cats do that out of love. Like they'll bring you a bird, but her pets. And why am I still looking at my watch? And I should not even be over there. Yeah, but her birds, apparently, they do not unalive the animal. They just bring it into her home. Wild. Crazy, crazy times. 
what am I comparing prices? Oh, looking for unsalted. So it has to be unsalted. We typically get them from, what, what's the place? You all know what I'm talking about. Where you go, you buy things in bulk. Like if you had a store or something, that's where he usually gets it. We're doing um, cappuccinos and Thank you. <laughs> right there, I had um, a woman was coming down the aisle and I warned her that I was recording. I told her I would move the camera and of course she wanted to know, oh, what are you recording? That's me in the background. I'm editing the vlog as we speak. Uh oh, let me silence this. I'm so glad I checked it because I thought this was muted out. Yeah, but I was telling her that I was recording and that is something that I always do. Sometime back or a lot of times people make mention that they're tired of seeing my shoes and bags but it's out of just what is it called it's out of courtesy I don't think that's the word but that's all I could think of if I am out recording why would I just want to record strangers like it, think about it if you were at the market if you were wherever you are would you want someone putting a camera up in your face I don't think so so why do you think it's appropriate perhaps that's just the society we live in where people think it's normal to just record all the time, don't care if it's children or people, whatever. But I'm very, very sensitive about that. So I always make sure that there is no one around when I can when recording. And if so, I crop them out. So I have finally, finally made it to, is this muted? Okay, I finally made it to the travel goods section. And their travel section is very, very extensive. So... Yeah, I'm just going through now. And it's one of those things I've had the things that were in my carry on person, no, the personal item toiletry pouch. I did not throw away the LV pouch. I just had to throw away all the contents. But the things are that were inside, they were just so random that some of them, let me, I'm going to edit this. Well, not edit, I'm going to just crop the way it is. But some of the things that were in the pouch, I don't even remember what it was. So I am sure the next time I travel, I I don't know. I'll just have to pick up things as I go to rebuild. If you have a travel bag, you know what I'm referring to. You, you just have things. You acquire it over time. And I truly do have to look at the blessing in this because a lot of the items that were in that travel pouch, I didn't even use it. And the things that I did need, I had used it all. So it was gone. So perhaps that was a blessing. So, oh, here it is. Another space where I had the music on. Okay. Take it off. Take it off. This is a long time. Okay. I'm going to, I'm editing and talking to you. By edits, I mean, at this point, I'm just taking out because it's about, 30 minutes of footage from Target. Entire time I was in Target, I had the camera rolling. Like, that's way too long. Who am I talking to? Because no one's on the phone. Maybe I'm singing here. Taking things out. So I think right now I'm looking for an SPF. So there was a content creator. It was sponsored. She shared the some kind of tinted, luminous... Nutri I thought it was Neutrogena, but it turned out that it was not. So I was looking for the Tinted Moisturizer because that's what I wanted. I typically use another brand that I get. And so here's, I'm looking on my phone at the screenshot. I sent her a message and I posted on her page so that the brand who sponsored the post saw that she had converted a customer I told her that I was going to target to get it that's another thing as I mean even though I don't do a lot of sponsored posts or a lot of affiliate links if and when I do support those a lot of times people will see an item that I have and instead of using the few links that I have they'll just go out and buy it that really doesn't support the person who has inspired you with those affiliate links, with those branded things, even if you don't buy it through the affiliate links, tagging the brand, letting the brand know, oh my goodness, you know, I got this because of you. It makes a big difference. I put it on her post, letting her know, let her know that I'm going to Target to get this because of you. What's happening right now? Okay, I am going to, let's cut this out. Your price is way too high. We need to cut it, cut it, cut it.
I hope I don't get a copyright strike. I'm going to end this. I'm tired of talking in my throat. Like it's it's not the best. So I will see you all in the car. Alrighty, ciao for now. Clean this lens. There are so many people. First things first, you gotta be up there. Use the wipes. Actually, people need to thank their lucky stars that I am not messy. Because some of the things that I hear and capture on camera, I'm sure could destroy people's lives. So first and foremost, I hope this mic is on. Is it blinking? We see to play. Do not have private conversations on speaker and really car Bluetooths. Those things are so loud. Like I cannot tell you how many times I have heard just things the public should not have heard. But now I'm in the parking lot of Target. There is a man pleading and begging his, I'm just going to say wife, to forgive him because he has cheated again that he's been caught. And he, he's on speakerphone. He's on speakerphone pacing. And I know that pace from anywhere. What you're at Target for? Going to get the baby some clothes? The love child? Some pieces? Ah, okay, so Target. They did not have bags, so this is going to be so easy for me to do because everything is literally on my front seat. <laughs> Had to get these. My go-to snack. And I got in line. Oh, so how about I left my wallet? Thank goodness for technology, Apple Pay and all, because I did not have my wallet. And I saw it this morning and I thought I put it in my bag, but it must still be with my passport. So got more hand sanitizer. I had to throw everything out. I got this Lumi whole body deodorant. If you are new here, I am on my natural deodorant kick. And sometimes it's, I smell like nature. So if we've ever hugged in person, s'il vous plaît, désolé, understand that I'm, I'm trying to shift. <laughs> so they had a deodorant and a whole body deodorant. So from what I read, you can put this on your entire body. I got a, why is this open? Neutrogena. I should have got a big one. I thought this was the larger one because I need SPF at home. So this will be my travel one. Um, a SPF. This is a brightening moisturizing um, serum, vitamin C, toothpaste, acne wash. It's like a scrub, which I really need. Times when I'm traveling and I want an actual scrub that comes in handy. I feel like I'm more than this. How did I spend that much money? I spent like $50. And this is all I have, these few things. This is a cleansing balm that I'm going to try out. Some of these, some of these items, I'm not editing that. I haven't tried before, but I'm just restocking my um, toiletry pouch. I had to throw away my Vaseline. So got a new set, a new set. I'm not editing that. A new jar, lint brush. And I feel like I had so much. Really? That's it? $50? Some aluminum free spray because I need backup. <laughs> When the natural deodorant is naturalizing. This is a Pons anti-wrinkle cream. I remember seeing um, my mare use Pons. So it's just something that I just love getting from time to time. And I really, this is like the second time I've had to throw things out. Typically in London, which is why I utterly detest um, flying into London Heathrow because it's always issues. I had to throw away like a Tom Ford. Oh, it's so bright. I had to throw away like a Tom Ford fragrance once. So, okay, let's get back to the house. We will pack my LV toiletry pouch and we, ciao for now. To tell you all something really gross. When I was meeting my um, friend at a restaurant, I was running late because my meeting went a little longer. And if you have ever been to any like European anything, you know how tiny, everything is so i did not want to arrive at the restaurant late go to the table put my coat down and then have to excuse myself to the washroom so i said oh i'll just go use the wash closet before i arrive to the table my coat was bigger than the wash closet the bottom of my coat brushed against the top of the toilet 
And the entire trip, I just convinced myself that that was water. But yeah, I'm, I'm just so grossed out. This is what I'm taking to get dry cleaned and picking up my other pieces. Okay, just random and gross. Ciao for now. I just had the most girl mathiest <laughs> experience ever so these glasses are so filthy the most girl mathiest experience ever so went inside the dry cleaner they i forgot how many pieces i had sent in to get laundered the coach graffiti trench that i have i put that in and it's dry clean only which i have washed it at home before but since i was taking other things in i went ahead and submit submit it <laughs> i'm not editing that i had it there so everything else was wrapped up in plastic as if it had been cleaned, except for the coach trench. Before he could say something, I said, oh, you all couldn't wash this or dry clean it? And he said, no, but we'll just give you a refund. I had the PP coat. <laughs> we'll refer to it as the PP coat now. I had the PP coat and I said, oh, okay, well, just, you know, do this one for free. And so <laughs> he's looking at me like, okay, yes, we will dry clean this coat for free. Tell me that's not girl math. Like, it's definitely not free. I paid for them to launder a coat and they didn't, so they were gonna get money back. But in my head, I was like, got him, <laughs> got him. <laughs> I just had to share that with you all. I am actually going to end this vlog here because when I get home, I have two client calls. I need to get things together for Mezami and my clients who I did personal shopping for, iPody. Mezami did not play. You all, I, I offered, I opened up my personal shopping experience. I typically just do that for my personal style clients, but I offered that for Mezami. And the Mezami who signed up for it, you all went in. When I tell you I was, oh, oh, I want this. There were a few pieces I wanted to keep for myself, but that's how much I love you all. So I need to get in touch with them to arrange um, shipping. And those who are, oh, look at the baby. She's doing arts and craft, crafts. But as I mean, who are local, I just meet them and we have a cappuccino or champagne or both. So yeah, I need to do that and get ready for a few calls. And then I have to remember that this is Vlogmas and I'm recording every single day. So it's not like this is a weekly vlog. You know, everything is content. Everything is content. I need to stretch these videos out. So merci beaucoup for your love, your support, your time, your patience. I appreciate it so much. Merci for all of the Starbucks you all have been sending. Well, more so on my um, website now, there is a part where it's like buy me a cappuccino and not even on my website. I keep it here in the description box as well. Merci beaucoup for making it rain cappuccinos. You all have been so amazing. I have to start sharing this more because some people just do not know like cappuccinos and consignment is really self-sustaining. Self-sustaining. I'm not editing that. I make my living off of the things that I do, not brand deals and affiliate links, all of the traditional ways that content creators typically make money. I don't because I am um, just doing things differently my way, which is part two that I shared on my vlogging book and tech lover uh, submitted a question along the lines of how have things changed for you in the last year with regards to content creating. And that is one of the things that I just don't even consider myself an influencer anymore in that right. So when you all send me cappuccinos, when you do those things, when you sign up for my personal shopping, when you enter my raffles, when you book one-on-one -on -one calls, when you just all of those things, like they really do support me. And I appreciate it because I really do want to continue doing things my way and not have to be so dependent on other companies because with that comes a lot like there's certain things you can't say can't do and I don't want anyone telling me what to do like I work so hard building this community that and, and not saying that I won't do brand deals but they have to really really align with the platform the community the space that we have built so 
we, I am looking at, oh, let me show you all one more thing. And then I really need to go. Um, as I mean, um, I did not inquire if it was okay for me to share her name. So I won't, uh, it's too hard for me to get into, but her grandmother is turning 90. So we put together a package, like a gift bag for her. So this is a French Vogue, but it's a limited edition and it comes with a notebook. Like, how awesome is that? So, yeah, I just have a lot of packing, a lot of things to do. So, I will <laughs> I will end the vlog here again. Merci beaucoup. And I will see you all. Demon. All righty. Ciao for now. Hey, boo. I have you on speaker. It's just you, me, and the mes I meet. Hold on. Oh, that's <laughs> it's KJ. You know, it's the bestie. We were talking this morning. All right, let me put my AirPods in. I'm about to exit. This is just too much. Seatbelt, AirPods, looking for my sunglasses. Let me see. All right, let's get it. Oh, whip it, whip it through the...